Well, this is the site of the accident, and you can uh, also see the police were here a bit earlier on. There was still clothing left, obviously, on the, the scaffolding area. Uh, what's been surprising a lot of people is, in the past, it's just been a burger van, and not uh, so many people are actually using this to, to spectate from. It seems to have increased over the years, and no doubt there will be a debate on, on if this is now a safe place to watch the races from. A gentleman who uh, tells me had a very lucky escape. He normally actually stands right on this corner where the, the bike first clipped um, that uh, wall. Uh, he would normally be watching the races from there, uh, but this time he decided to go elsewhere. Right at, you know, up against the wall with my camera, as I've done for many, many years. We're two doors off Bray Hill. I've lived here since 1960. So. Uh, but yeah, you weren't I, there for that race? I wasn't there for that race. We decided, beautiful day, we'd go up to the uh, bungalow and uh, see the. Uh, you'd see the action up there. Of course, we went up there and uh, the race was red flagged. And uh, we'd worked our way back through to Douglas, you know, with, before the, more or less before the, set, the rerun. Right, so but you would be literally on that corner, which is where the bike hit? Yeah, just. Leaning on there with the camera. That's it. And the bike hit just, just there? The bike hit just there, uh, around and then. Uh, yeah, so we've still got debris here, we've still got uh, Jubilee clip, bits of fiberglass, bits of fairing. I, I mean, you wouldn't have had time to move, would you, if it, if it hadn't? Well, I'd have hoped so, but probably, um, you know, it's all over in a few seconds, really, isn't it? The speed that they're, they're coming down here.